Hi, my name is Katie Betzina. I will be your child's either seventh grade ELA honors language arts teacher or their um, art teacher or their sixth grade art teacher. So my background in schooling, um, while I was in high school, I went to um, Pierce College because I did Running Start. After that, I got my bachelor's in English and visual arts um, from the Evergreen State College. And then my true calling, um, which I've always wanted to do and I was super excited about, um, my third degree is in education, and it came from um, Central. Uh, I put my little honor society um, certificate down there because I am very proud um, of how well I did in school there. So this year I'm teaching four different subjects. Um, I'm teaching seventh grade honors language arts, um, drawing, design, painting, which um, is half the year and then pottery is the other half. Um, and then I'm teaching sixth grade art introduction. I have some of your children in both my drawing class and my on and my um, honors language arts class. So they may have me two times a day. So just a few things about me. Um, I love nature. Um, the bottom picture on the left is of Lower Lewis River Falls. Um, if anybody's been there, it's awesome. I love it. It's a beautiful place. I try to go there once a year. Um, the picture on the top left is of um, Mount Sai, which I hiked on my birthday. Um, I love flowers. I love the symmetry uh, that they have. Um, the big purple flower in the middle. I grew that flower, so I was very proud of it because I think it's beautiful. And then um, the picture on the lower right hand side is of me and my sister planting flowers. And I am not the one with the blonde hair. I am the other one with the brown hair. So um, Vance Creek is the second tallest bridge in the United States, if you aren't familiar with it. Um, it's very awesome. It, it's really cool to walk across. Um, it's very dangerous. Some of your kids, when I showed them this slideshow, were super interested in going. So um, yeah, so if they have ideas about going to this bridge, then um, sorry, it's my fault. Um, this video actually won't work on this slideshow anymore, but if you Google drones at Vance Creek Bridge, you'll be able to see the video and it shows how tall it is. It's a really awesome video. So here are pictures of me and some of the important people in my life. Um, starting from the top left. So um, me and my best friend um, on a wedding day. Right after that is um, me and my nephew on my sister's wedding day. Um, right next to that are my two nephews who are extremely smart. Love them to death. Um, Harrison and Monroe are their names. Um, the picture after that is me and my sister. Um, we were playing darts, so we were dressed a little bit crazy. Right underneath that picture is um, me and my dad, who my dad helps me with lots of stuff. He fixes my car and does all these great things for me, which I love. I love my family. Um, right after that is me and two of my sisters. I actually have three sisters, but one of my sisters absolutely hates taking photos, so there are no pictures of her in here. Um, the picture um, right after that to the left is me and my best friend um, when she got married. Picture to the left of that is when my little sister just got married and I was fixing her veil. And then the picture to the left of that is me, two of my sisters, and then my mom's sneaking back there in the background. So yeah, those are some important people in my life. Um, so I'm mainly a painter. I do a lot of watercolor painting. Um, right now I'm really into um, Zen. Zen art. Um, your children are going to be doing this if you're in my if they're in my art class. Um, they're going to be doing Zen art to start start off the year um, to learn about line, and um, they're actually going to be entering their art into an art contest, which is really exciting. Um, so, but usually I do watercolor, but Zen art is very relaxing. Um, another thing I don't know if I told if I said already, but I'm a first year teacher. So with all of the craziness going on, I like to um, 
do Zen art because it's very relaxing. And I'm hoping that it's going to be a nice stress reliever for your kids as well. So um, in August, I came into this huge classroom. Um, it was super overwhelming. Um, it looked like this blank bear. It's like, how am I going to get this all fixed up? It was very, very overwhelming as a first year teacher. Um, so this is even it after it had been cleaned a little bit. Um, the top picture um, on the right hand side, that's my little sister. She does um, she does calligraphy um, or um, yeah, calligraphy, I guess. Um, so she does this for a job. Um, so she makes money doing art, which is something I think is important for my art students to learn about is that you can do this for a job. Um, art's not just for fun and games. Um, so yeah, this is what my classroom looked like um, in August. This is where it's at now. It's even changed a little bit more from these pictures. Actually, it's kind of changed a lot since I took these pictures. So um, in the very middle, it says we are all beginners in the beginning. That is what my sister um, wrote up on my chalkboard because I have a chalkboard in my room um, and she is going to be coming in and doing a lesson on um, on calligraphy with all of my um, art students and she's going to be here all day so I think my ELA students are also going to get to have that lesson um, seems like half of them are into it half of them are not so I'll just give them the option um, to the left I painted my desk yellow um, there's more stuff around my desk now um, on the bottom your um, kids have been making collages um, and some of them are up, there are more up now, but if you look closely, maybe your um, child can pick out which one is theirs. Um, if your child is in my ELA class, um, they have decorated the front of their composition notebooks, um, done a collage on the, on the front that represents themselves. Um, the, the posters were from um, art class. And then um, on very far right hand side um, is the first day I had them write their names on cards and um, ex introduce themselves to the class and um, say one thing about them. So all their names are hanging up um, on the wall. And so yeah, that's kind of what my classroom looks like now, what they come into every day. It seems like it's evolving every day. So um, my goals for your children in honors ELA. Um, my biggest goal is increase reading and writing skills. Um, obviously, English language arts, that's what we're doing. Um, I want to prepare them for success in eighth grade, high school, and beyond. Um, when I was in junior high, I had a great teacher who really prepared me for high school and beyond, and I want to be that person for your children. Uh, I'm going to try to install great writing skills, um, increase their reading levels. Um, I'm really passionate about um, language arts. That was my major. Um, visual arts is my minor. Um, and then I also want to cultivate a love for reading and writing because um, that's really important. So my goals for your child in art. So this is my drawing design painting class. And also if you have a sixth grader that's in my art class, same, um, my goals are the same for both. So um, first, increase their creative thinking and problem solving skills. So art is all about that. And being able to increase those two skills will help them in every other subject in school. Um, so I wanna cultivate their confidence and personal expression. Um, confidence is huge, personal expression is huge. That's just not in art, that's in life. Um, so they're gonna be learning about color theory. Um, they'll learn shading, perspective, and human proportion. And those are just a few of the things that we're gonna to touch on. Um, they are going to gain experience using a variety of mediums. Um, pen and ink, watercolor, different types of paint, um, oil, pastels, charcoal. I'm going to introduce them to a lot of things. And um, this is going to be a wonderful year. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know you and your child. Um, please feel free to reach out to me, my email, 
anytime. And I'm super excited to be your child's teacher.